Okay, next rider coming into this arena full of tension and the atmosphere is incredible. We have Scott Carroll from Scotland. Scott's always got a smile on his face, a ready smile, and I bet during this performance, you see him pull off a neat trick that he really feels pleased with. You'll see a big smile from him. And a nice 270 drop in. He got it. Once again, these guys are really pumped. They're really excited. The adrenaline's flowing. They're going a little bit further than normal, as you can see. That was a nice bit of it. That was. One hand, can can. Jumping that gap. Oh, too close to the side there. In fact, that, that actually looks as if he uh, could have hurt himself a bit there, yes. but he seems to. Right, now he's beyond the 30 seconds where he's able to fix his bike and come back for a repeat. Now he has to do it right now and continue performing. Seems to be doing okay. I told you we might get a smile on him. I don't know. He's done some fantastic things, which I'm sure would please anybody if they were able to pull him off. That was a nice fakie on the ramp, considering yes, that he's yes, just bailed on out of the four pipe. That's right. It's so essential to get straight back on the bike and get back into the action once you've had a crash like that. That's correct. Because otherwise your nerves tend to get a little bit wiry. Exactly, and that was a nice one hand there. No foot, one hand. 30 seconds to go. Okay, the last 30 seconds of his routine, and a nice... He's still cranking, he's still going at it. The last 30 seconds are the most crucial. You have to leave a good impression on your judges. Riders have a tendency to push everything they can out of the last few seconds. They may be tired too and may not have much more to give, but they do. These riders are in top physical condition. As you can see. Okay, that was Scott Carroll from Scotland.